Like most of the contemporary and younger generation guitar players have been influenced by Guthrie Govan. But one song that he has that I think is quite underrated is Nerner. And Nerner actually inspired my latest released song, Not the Prey But the Hunter. Which you can and should go check out anywhere you listen to your music app. Even though it is a more traditional metal sounding song, I also wanted it to have a bit of a classical music feeling vibe. In Guthrie's song, there is this part that he wanted to sound kind of like a classical guitar-ish part. So he has these underlying chords and drop D going around like minor chords and major chord shapes. But then he would do these weird different inversions versions like Ad 9 all sounded amazing, but I struggled so much to play them, but it was always one of my favorite Guthrie Govan moments. When I was figuring out my latest released song, Not the Prey But the Hunter, I wasn't even really thinking Guthrie Govan's Nerner, but after figuring out that section, I was like, this version of the song surely wouldn't exist without Guthrie. Well, this song and pretty much any solo that I've ever made. In case it wasn't obvious, go check out my latest released song, Not the Prey But the Hunter, and leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and stay tuned for more, because I'm releasing songs every week, and I'm releasing new videos every day, twice a day.